So in this video, I want to show you how you can keep your code from class up to date using Eclipse. So if you've imported the project from GitHub that has all of the course code in it, then following the directions in this video will help you keep that up to date. So here I have my Eclipse workspace. If I wanted to make sure that these were up to date, I would right click on the project, say team, and then select pull. And that pulls the updates from GitHub. And you can see here, there's nothing new. There's no updates. Uh, let's see if I have one that does have an update. So you can see if I click pull here. So here you can see for this repo from CSC 205, there were some examples that were added since I last updated this repository, which as you can see here, seems to have been quite a while ago because two months of updates got pulled in, just two updates. Now, one potential thing you can run into, and I will use a CSC 205 project as an example here. Suppose I'm doing some work on this and let's say I make some sort of change to my project. So let's say there's something else I wanna try here. And so I'm gonna add that extra example to this set of test strings. Again, the exact change doesn't matter. That's not the focus here. If I left click on the file and then say compare with head revision, that'll actually show me the difference in my file. And you can see if I scroll down, you, you see where it shows that I added this example here. So this is kind of a nice way to see, okay, what's actually changed between what I have and what's stored online. But it turns out that I actually made a change to this file that I should be able to pull. So if I go to team and then pull, it's going to reject it because there's a conflict. And what that means is this file was updated on GitHub and then I have an update here. And so it doesn't know which one of those to pull. Now there's a lot of ways I can handle this. And what I'm gonna to try to do here is just make this as simple as possible. My recommendation would be to make a copy of your file. So here we have this here. And then right click and say replace with head revision. That head revision is the version it got from GitHub. Discard your changes. Again, make sure you have a copy first because we're throwing away those changes. And now right click on the project, team, pull, and then you can see that there were some extra things that I pulled in that were uploaded just a few minutes ago. So now I have those changes. So now if I look at this project four, that's not a copy, it's this that was changed that I added, I believe. So if I look at what's there, yeah. So you can see that the copy has this CSC, the new version has this extra test string, and I could decide whether or not I wanna add this back to the original. But again, by making that copy, I can go ahead and pull everything down from the repository and then add my changes back as necessary. So my recommendation is that before you start working on any project, you make sure that you do a pull so that you get the latest version of the project code. And typically I may make changes up until the project is assigned. Once it's assigned, if there's changes, I would make an announcement or something like that. But this is just to give you an idea of what to do to make sure that you're keeping track of the latest code changes.